Hi everyone, we're going to simplify this rational exponent. And what I'm going to be doing is using my quotient property for exponents first because they both have uh, y's and r's in the numerator and denominator. So I'm going to first rewrite this as r to the negative 3 fourths y to the negative 3 halves. And then I'm going to put r first. So this is going to be r to the negative 1 half. And this I can rewrite as y to the 1 half. Now using your quotient property of exponents, since they're denominator, I can say this is r to the negative 3 fourths minus uh, a negative 1 half. This gives you r to the negative 3 fourths plus 1 half. That means you're going to get uh, r to the negative 3 fourths plus, um, if I have a 4 here, this is going to be 2. So this is going to be r to the negative 1 half. Negative 3 fourths plus 2 fourths is negative uh, 1 fourth. Sorry, not 1 half, 1 fourth. I knew something's off. So that's r to the negative 1 fourth. Now let's do the same thing with my y. I have y to the negative 3 halves minus 1 half. And I'm using my quotient property. All right, that's going to give me y to the negative 4 halves, which gives me y to the negative 2. So what we have is once we just simplify that and group our y's and r's together, is we have r to the negative one fourth, y to the negative uh, two. Now, I'm going to write that on the next slide. So y, uh, I already forgot, y to the negative two, r to the negative one fourth. Just double checking. All right, because I flipped it. All right, this is uh, the same as uh, one divided by y squared and r to the one-fourth. Now this one-fourth is the same thing as saying fourth root of r. You can't have that in the denominator. So what we're going to do is multiply this uh, and rationalize the denominator by r to the three-fourths. And if we multiply the denominator by r to the three-fourths, we also have to multiply the numerator by r to the three-fourths. The y squared is fine because that's not a radical, that's a square. So the numerator is just going to be r to the 3 fourths. You still have your y squared, and then when you multiply these, this is going to be r to the 1 fourth plus 3 fourths, and that gives you r to the 4 fourths, which just gives you r. So you rationalize the denominator, and this will be your final answer. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.